Hey, what is up everybody? I'm Riz and welcome to my channel. In this quick and awesome video I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna teach you how you can mirror cast your iPhone 7, iPhone 7 Plus to your smart TV. Completely free, no third party apps, you don't need to download anything, it's really smooth and really simple. Let's just dive right into it. Alright, so as I said before, this is for iPhone 7, 7 Plus users or above, above the iPhone 7 of course, and it's really easy. Alright, so the first thing you want to do on your iPhone, as you can see I'm using iPhone 7 Plus. This is one of my, uh, one of my oldest, probably my first iPhones, uh, you know, 7s actually. <laughs> Alright, so the first, thing, the first thing you want to do is to make sure your iPhone is connected to your Wi-Fi or home Wi-Fi. By the way, do not worry if you don't have, if you don't have home Wi-Fi, I'm going to show you another way. Um, that works as well, but I would recommend you use your home Wi-Fi. Okay, I'm gonna show you another way you can do this later on this video. Okay, so stick uh, till the end. All right. Okay, so for now I'm gonna just make sure my iPhone is connected to my home network. Now let's just do the same thing on your smart TV. Okay. All right. So in this case, I am using a smart TV. Really simple, by the way. As I said before, nothing fancy. Okay. All right. So we did the exact. We need to do the exact same thing that we did on t on your TV. Head over to your network settings, and if you have done this before, click on check connection. That way, it will automatically reconnect to your Wi-Fi or whatever you have. Or just click on set up new connection, okay? And it will automatically scan for all the wireless networks that you have uh, at your home, at your uh, whatever, wherever you are, okay? All right, so as you can see right there, it's my home Wi-Fi. But again, as I said, if you don't have home Wi-Fi, don't worry about it. I'm gonna show you another way, and it's it's really easy as well. So, all right. So you can use your iPhone or any iPhone to do this to make a uh, portable hotspot. What I'm trying to say is, go to the portable uh, personal hotspot settings and make sure your personal hotspot is running on your iPhone. Again, be careful with the personal hotspot. This will use your mobile data, and depending on what network you use, where 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 you live this will cost you credit, okay? So just be careful with the uh, personal data, do not overuse it. At the end of the day, I would I would still recommend you use your pers uh, home Wi-Fi, okay? And again, once the hot once the hotspot once the hotspot hotspot is running in the once the hotspot is running, click on scan and it will automatically scan for all the connections, all the uh, hotspots that you have at your home. As you can see right there, that's my iPhone 7 Plus. Again, if you if you don't have home Wi-Fi, use this method. Otherwise, I would definitely definitely recommend you use uh, your home Wi-Fi. Okay, that way you don't have to worry about uh, you know the carrier um, costing credit or something like that. So just be careful with the personal hotspot. It's not free. So into the enter the password, whatever you want to connect to, and click on connect. And there you go. Your TV is connected to your network, and that's pretty much all we need to do. Pretty pretty simple. Again. Okay, so if you have a latest Android uh, Android TV, you don't have to do this, but in this case, go to your Air Apple AirPlay and HomeKit settings, okay? In this case, this is a really old TV, so I have to do this. And just once you're into the AirPlay settings, if you've never done this before, it might ask you to set it up, like set up a code or something, but don't worry about it. As you can see, it's running in the background, okay? All right, so now it's time to connect our iPhone 7, 7 Plus, whatever iPhone you have to your uh, smart TV, okay? Really simple, it's just the first thing you wanna do just to make sure, the first thing you wanna make sure on your iPhone is to make sure your iPhone and your smart TV are on the same network. In this case, uh, my iPhone is on my home Wi-Fi and my TV, my smart TV is also on my home Wi-Fi. Now, swipe up the control center for the control center and look for a screen mirroring. It should be right above the focuses. As you can see, there's a tiny, tiny little icon. Just click on it and it will automatically scan for all the smart TVs you have that are running in the background. As you can see, mine is running right there. All I, all I have to do is just click on it and for the first time, if you're doing this for the first time, it will ask you for a code. As you can see, I have a code on my TV. I'll just, I'm just gonna type that code, really simple. Click OK, and bam, we are connected. Pretty, pretty simple, right? Well, that's it for the video. By the way, stick to the end. I'm gonna show you how you can stop this, but you have, you can do a lot of stuff this with this, by the way. You can watch videos, you can play games. I'm not gonna show you all of it, all of it, but I'm gonna show you some of it, okay? You can play games, you can watch videos, you can watch YouTube if you want to. You can even use your camera if you want to. I mean, that, that's just awesome. That's just awesomeness. <laughs> by the way, 
if you have if you have any questions if you have any questions if you need some help let me know in the comment section below i will definitely definitely get back to you okay also if you need more info i'll be linking the website in the description box below or on your screen so visit that website and um you will you will have a lot of uh, a lot of you you will have the detail article on your website okay so as i said before you can watch the uh, youtube videos if you want to and all the control will be in your hands so that way you can pause the video whenever you want right there i just clicked on it and it will automatically pause the video on my tv so it's really simple you can even control the volume if you want to i actually forgot to show you that but you can do that it's just so simple really really simple by the way don't worry about the audio audio will be coming from your tv if you're uh, if you had if you if you have followed all the steps okay all right so now how you can disconnect is really simple all we need to do the exact we need to do the exact same thing go to the control center as you can see go to the screen mirroring tab and as you can see mine is connected all you need to do is just click on stop mirroring and it will automatically stop the mirror cast uh it will it will stop the mirror cast and there you go pretty pretty simple again leave a like if you like the video if you enjoy the video and if you have any questions let me know in the comment section below and uh, if you're not subscribed to the channel be sure to subscribe okay and i'll catch you in the next one peace out